This is Alex from CloudRF with a tutorial on using CloudRF to model the range of a Mesh-tastic network. Now Mesh-tastic uses LoRaWAN, which we're very familiar with, and we'll go and enter the appropriate settings into the form in the web interface here. Starting at the top left, we're going to set the height uh, to one meter above ground level. The signal, because we're in Europe, and this is Gloucester, uh, we're going to use the European ISM frequency, 868 MHz. The RF power will be 0.1 Watt or 20 dBm. And the bandwidth will be 125 kHz. When you set the bandwidth, the noise floor will be automatically set uh, based on channel noise theory. And it's telling you that it's been set to 123, which is helpful. There's no feeder and the antenna the assumption here is we're using the stock antenna that came uh, with our Heltec board. Now this antenna um, has a gain value of between sort of 2 and 3 dBi. Uh, we're going to set 2.15 which is the default gain for a half wave dipole and just leave the default settings there. We're going to use the same settings for the distance station so 1 meter above the ground, same gain value and the sensitivity we're going to take from the data sheet. Now the Heltec data sheet reports a receiving sensitivity of minus 136 dBm and that's what we've entered here. The model, as we're using a UHF frequency we're going to use the Egli model with a 4 dB margin which is the reliability margin here. The average context and the Bullington diffraction model because we're in a city and there's lots of obstacles so diffraction really matters. Environment you need to have a clutter profile so we're going to use the minimal profile with a DTM model for the terrain data and land cover for trees and buildings and buildings for precise 3D buildings on top of that. Depending on your environment, you can create your own environmental profiles with bigger trees, harder buildings, that sort of stuff. But for now, just run with the minimal profile. Right, the output. The resolution, because we care about buildings, we're going to select 5 meters for the resolution. And the color scheme is important here. It needs to cover the range of what we want to see. Now we want to see all the way down to minus 136. So this color key on the right is a special one that's been made all the way down to minus 140. You can make your own color key in the tool here or you can pick one of the system ones. The radius here is based upon uh, observations people are getting. There's been quite a lot of uh, videos where people are range testing and uh, they're coming up with all sorts of different figures depending on their environments so we're going to start with two kilometers and see what we get so we hit the button here and run a model uh, down here this location here is a, a street corner um, on a, a street uh, running east to west and there's fields over here to the northwest and as you can see uh, we're getting great coverage onto the fields which we would expect uh, not so great into the houses so into the uh, streets here we're only going five six hundred meters uh, but out to the west uh, we're going to two kilometers because we've got better uh, links out there now for comparison let's take this up the hill so let's go up this hill here to the east and let's go and put uh, the uh, the node up here on the top of the hill and because we know it's going to go further because we've just gained a lot of height and height is everything for UHF we're going to increase the radius uh, to four kilometers and compare. So this is a four kilometer radius calculation and I'm just going to remove that bottom layer there and let's zoom out and have a look at what we've achieved there. So with one node on a hill we're covering most of the city there. Uh, there's urban canyons so there's, uh, there's big buildings down here and you can see the large shadows and the diffraction coming off those buildings. And the range is impressive, uh, not so much on the back side of the hill because we are on the side of this hill. Uh, but as you can see, uh, height is everything for Mesh-tastic. So the higher you can get your node, the further you can go. 
Now, all these settings have been saved to a template. Uh, you can load templates into the interface here and you can find our templates on GitHub. And if you go and have a look at the Meshtastic Helltech EU.json template, all the settings are in there.